Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. This will be for July to August 2022 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everybody. Take what resonates with you as always. So let's see what we have for you for the next couple of months. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides, Money, Career, Finances. First card we have. So we have Unstable. There have been a lot of ups and downs with your finances. Money coming in fast and going out just as quickly. Fast changes regarding money or unexpected turn of finances. So that's the first message. I'm going to pull you one more. We have real estate. Build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. Consider a career in real estate, interior design, architecture and, or any home business. It's time to go back to basics to strengthen your finances. But the real estate energy is a stable energy. So we have this unstable energy and then something that's very stable, uh, getting your foundation, building from the ground upwards again. So let's see what else we get. What do we have for Cancer, please? Message for our lovely Cancerians. Money, career, finances, angel spirits, guides. Okay, so we have knowledge. You could be learning something. It could be an educational thing anyway, learning as you go in a situation as well. For some of you, it might well be careers in real estate might also be appealing. Or property development. Let's see what else we get here. What do we have for cancer, please? Let's pull a number for you, cancer. What do we have as a number for cancer in money, career, finances? Okay, two cards. Number one, we sorry, we have number 81, leadership. Maybe taking the lead in a situation. And with that, we have pride, number 19. Okay, let's pull some cards and see what we have. What do we have for Cancer, please? Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you, Money Career Finances for July to August 2022. Thank you. So Queen of Swords could be the energy that you're adopting, can be somebody who is in your atmosphere um queen of swords can be libra aquarius gemini can also be any sign somebody who adopts the qualities of the queen of swords somebody who sits in truth very clear direct energy communication decisions choices balance in all things or getting balance back okay we have the three of cups the hanged man The Two of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups, which is the Knight of Water, the element of water, which is your element here, Cancer. We have the Six of Wands and we have the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords and Queen of Swords can be about relationships of some kind, partnerships. So this could be an energy of, of partnerships with some of you or something that affects a partnership in some way because it might well be with a King and Queen of Swords, somebody's waiting for the clarity. A couple could be waiting for a decision. It might well be for some of you, you, not, you need to make decisions and choices, though I feel in this energy you're waiting on something. Uh, you're waiting on an offer, you're waiting for a decision, you're waiting for communication here. You're waiting to get the clarity that you need. 
it might well be that it just affects both of you here but this can also be just an energy of masculine feminine within you you know you're just waiting for that that whole clarity to come in in terms of maybe getting some kind of stable footing back so I'm going to clarify oh, it's interesting bottom of the deck and I pre-shuffle these cards before every reading we have the energy of breakthroughs the energy of success the energy of victory the ace of swords which links to a brand new beginning let's pull one more card with that one there's a definite energy of all of a sudden you're getting clarity here somebody might be bringing it to you And this knowledge, it feels like you, you might be getting some answer or some knowledge or learning something or hearing something is what I'm getting quite strongly. What do we have for Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, please? Let's get one more card. Thank you. Interesting. We have the Devil. Let's get one more card with that devil. The fool liberating from a devil. Okay. So whatever this devil is, Cancer, there is an opportunity to break free from it. The Ace of Swords can cut cords. The Queen of Swords can cut cords, cut ties with very strong attachments you know because the devil is that kind of strong attachment energy sometimes there are things that we like about the devil there are things that are quite intoxicating about the devil you know in a work scenario the devil can represent an unhealthy team environment that you're in it could well be an, a, a difficult boss uh, you could be dealing with somebody who's very egotistical it's all about them so that can play this part here the devil for me also can can sometimes be within a negative this 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 negative cycle that you find yourself in that you find yourself difficult to break free of um for whatever reason you know sometimes we stay within cycles or situations or environments because it's easy sometimes because it's the easy choice or because it, it's it's an energy of the upheaval of change. However, there is an energy here of changes happening quite significantly because we have two major arcana. The fool trumps the devil. The, tr the fool liberates from the devil. So there, there is absolutely liberating from a situation that doesn't serve your highest good. So a strong energy here of, of liberating from something and claiming a victory over it because the ace of swords is the energy here of, of somebody who who sits in truth who sees things for what they are and allows themselves to move in a direction that gives them a greater healthier reality now this queen of swords could also be bringing clarity i mean this feels like an energy of getting clarity in terms of a breakthrough that allows you to finally liberate from a situation and take a leap of faith in a new direction, a brand new path. Because you're taking the lead, you're taking your power back on a situation. The devil can be a very unstable energy uh, because it's, it's out of balance. You know, something is way out of balance. Something has become too much of a thing. And there is definitely an energy here of, of building that solid foundation back up. However you choose to do that, there is definitely this energy of what has been unstable. You are taking a lead in a situation. Um, and this sense of pride, knowing your worth, you know, knowing what you're capable of to establish this kind of stability back in your life. So it might well be for some of you that some kind of breakthrough, some kind of... Um, news or communication or decision might be coming your way as well that allows you to liberate from situations it feels like something's coming in and you think finally i can liberate from this whole thing is what i'm getting i mean this could be also a legal situation too with the the swords energy being in this reading you know because it's the sword of truth 
Queen of Swords, King of Swords are all in truth. So for some of you, it could well be to do with some kind of legal or just or wanting fairness restored in some way. It doesn't have to be legal, but it could well be if there's been some unfairness that you've experienced, this is that being rebalanced right, in some way with this victory, with this clarity, with this decision coming your way. Because this is an energy of pending celebration and somebody wondering, you know, uh, they've persevered towards achieving a pending celebration and they're just waiting to see if it's going to happen. This is the energy here of, of, you know, do I need to do any more? Do I need to make changes? I've persevered so much and I'm continuing to persevere to get some kind of celebratory energy here. Uh, the Three of Cups is celebration joy. Uh, it's an energy of beginning to reap the harvest. These people, you can see there's abundance around them. They're beginning to reap the fruits of their labor, what they have worked towards to achieve here. This is that pending celebration that I feel that you're waiting on. Uh, and you've really persevered toward making this happen. This is a feeling here of, of the spring after winter you know the winter is over the spring is here so and I'm not talking seasonally I'm talking metaphorically in the sense that there's celebration and warmth and delight and everything beginning to grow again so that's what you've been persevering towards bringing in the harvest again in your life bringing in the bounty and that's energetic as well you know being fulfilled again where you probably weren't before we have the Hanged Man and the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is, can be the Knight of Emotion. So it can represent offers, opportunities being offered to you with the Knights. But it has an emotional connection to you in some way. So the Knight of Cups can be something that is absolutely connected to your heart in money career readings. This can be an offer that you really want, that brings the desired change emotionally, energetically, that you absolutely want as well. So I feel this is an energy if you've been waiting, you have been wondering, you know, do I, have I done enough to get the end result here? And there's a strong energy of waiting, waiting for that light bulb, wait, waiting for the clarity, waiting for the offer to come in that you absolutely want. So this is about positive change with the Knight of Cups, some kind of offer that brings positive change in money, career, financial aspects. Uh, but brings energetic change within you as well. Now, the Knight of Cups can also be linked to, if I'm talking about niche areas as well, the Knight of Cups can also be linked to the creative industries, um, culture, arts, uh, media, entertainment, writing, publishing, uh, so expressive energies. So can be this kind of energy too, Cancer. So bear that in mind, you might be connecting to those industries with this offer or opportunity. But I feel for some of you, this is just something that you really want, something that you are absolutely waiting on, you're waiting on the offer. I'm wondering if you've done enough to bring in the result. And that's what we see here. That's what we see here with these energies, the two of pentacles, Somebody who is really in that energy of one for in, one for out of a situation, wanting to move forward, but is waiting on the clarity here as well, with the six of wands, waiting to see if they're victorious, waiting to see if they're successful, waiting to see if they can finally put that challenge of whatever this devil was behind you and move on. There is a strong energy here of, of victory, of success, of winning winning over whatever this devil represented and feeling pretty good about it. But the six also represents the equilibrium, the equilibrium that's restored by this victory, by this win and the achievement as a result of what you've discovered about yourself, what you've learnt and how you carry that forward with you. So the King of Swords, it, this feels like somebody who might be bringing in the clarity to you uh, because with the two of pentacles and the six of wands, this is just, it still feels in this energy, waiting for somebody to bring in the news, waiting for somebody to bring clarity your way. Um, there's a lot of fairness with this reading. Uh, fairness, balance, just, honour, integrity, all of those words, I'm feeling quite connected to this reading. So there's definitely an energy here, Cancer, of... You might have gone through some kind of, and it will be different levels of experience, but for some of you, 
you might have gone through some challenging experiences on some level with where you worked because there is definitely a feeling of wanting to liberate from that now and cut cords. The energy and really kind of like being in, you know, wanting to find truth, wanting to see the clarity, wanting to see how you're going to move forward to restore balance. She's a great symbol of balance being restored as well. With the Ace of Swords, and again with these energies here, this is the breakthrough that you've been waiting for. This is the victory and it's guided to you by Spirit God, the universe. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely energy here of, of victory, success, breakthroughs that allows you to cut cords with what has gone previously. So a lovely empowered energy here of somebody who has been in truth, who has been pursuing an opportunity to bring change, positive, happy change in their lives. They've taken the lead and they're waiting for the answer to come in and it does feel the answer is going to be very good for you. Uh, because this is a card of victory and success. And similarly, it can represent that in other areas like legal situations or decisions um, that need to be fair and true and just. This is a great energy here. If something has been unfair in a situation, there's definitely some kind of offer that you've been waiting for coming your way that's linked to some victory. There's just this energy here of, of truth is on your side, justice is on your side, but karma is as well. Um, so yeah, this is this is that sort of truth uh, and does represent, you know, you can see those mountains, which is why I'm kind of saying, certainly with that devil energy, it probably hasn't been an easy journey to get to this point. Somebody has really persevered, but there is celebration coming and this is a significant energy of a breakthrough. All of a sudden you see that blue sky, you get clarity, you get the decision, you get the answer that you've been waiting for is what I'm getting and it feels like in this energy it just restores balance. Now again this could also be if you're waiting on some kind of business partnership or family owned business or you know that can be these energies too. Very clever, very intellectual, very visionary energies as well so very inspirational to be with. Um, so for some of you that could be this energy too but either way the message remains the same. You get the breakthrough that you need. That is this energy. It's linked to success. And new beginnings. Okay, final message for Cancer. Final message for Cancer, thank you. Yeah, we have manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. And we have inner child. This is just an uplifting energy. You know, when we connect to our joy as children, you know, and it's just that pure joy, it's that pure delight. I always think about that when the inner child card comes up because it feels like what you have been manifesting, things are just about to feel better and get better and be more uplifting. We have inner child. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. That's what I have for you, Ken. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.